must be really quite frightening to um, realise what, what you're up against in a world that's still quite violent towards people who are sexually different. It's just fear, you know. And it's because, to me, I think, because heterosexual myths about Ken and Barbie are so inaccurate <laughs> and that that inaccuracy sort of filters through in all of our other um, confusion about sexuality. Yeah, and so part of understanding transgender stuff is to explode the Ken and Barbie myths. Some plants and flowers I help my mother with the chores I wash, she dries I do the floors We work together I The closer I get to why I'm a tranny the less I understand it. I must admit, I do it better. At night, I work in a strange bar, impersonating every star. I'm quite deceived. It was there even as a kid. The customers come in with doubt and wonder what I'm all about. Believe, believing I do a very special show Where I'm nude from head to toe After strip teasing Each night the men look so surprised I change my sex before their eyes Tell me if you can What makes a man a man If people can grasp the basic concept that some people are born with a, a, a training mentality that they need to work through and, and surgery and hormones are a really, you know, straightforward way of dealing with that issue. Um, if, if people just accept that, then there doesn't have to be a lot of stress about it. Indeed, yeah, should matter? why should it matter, you know? Um, but the fact is that it, that it does and from what I've observed of, of friends, you know, there is a lot of stress in being a, a trainee as a teenager and puberty and, um, yeah, I just think they're incredibly discriminated against bunch. Come along, I thought you'd be hiding down here. I know we're going to have a photo taken. Okay. <laughs> Trouble, man. You stop it. You can't hear it like that, too. Smile. You just come up. Smile. <laughs> what are you giggling at? Oh, let him be alone. Leave your sister alone. You know she's ticklish. I'll behave you too. Well, at an early age, I realised that uh, I didn't identify as a male. I identified as a female. Uh, I seemed to think more like a female, or my reactions were that of a female. And even at a young age, when I told my parents about it, and they, over the years they became concerned that it was persisting, Mm. and I hadn't grown out of it. Naturally, I was taken away to psychiatrists and some psychiatrists would well, leave it alone and grow out of it and all that sort of thing. So you got actually no understanding from your Well, they just didn't know a great deal about it in those days. These days I can understand their frustration, or well, my parents' frustration, must have probably been greater than mine because my father wouldn't have anyone that might be homosexual or anything like that in the family mm -hmm. and that was the main thing he was trying to guard against. And I was taken to therapy for a few years. All I did was learn to lie psychiatrists. <laughs> Probably not very convincingly. And try to look after OK. Good night, Mary. Night, Dad. Coming down? Snake.
I tried really hard to be good. Ow! 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 Do I have to do the dishes again, Mum? I did it last night. One day I'm going to take the most beautiful sharp knife and castrate myself. I have no problems with male genitals, just the males attached to them. I never could understand the male mentality. I always worked better with females and got along better. When I was working at the respite centre, it was mostly working with females. It was quite good. Unfortunately, being a rather public job, they couldn't uh, put someone changing sex in midstream. Oh my God! Privacy, please. Why? I'm cutting my dick off. Really? Why? What's he doing here? I have no idea. I don't know, but I wish he'd go away. Mm. Mm. Must be a bit strange. Very. I think I paid the heavy price it cost was everything to me and that was all. At last I had flown the nest. And I'm still attracted to women. Technically that makes me a lesbian. But I don't really care about that. But people want to call me. I was extremely unhappy trying to live as a male and quite happy living as a female, whether you take sex into consideration or not. No cameras, and this is a woman-only space. Oh, God, chromosome separatists. No big L, lesbian, feminist separatists and sex radical thinkers are having to try and communicate um, you know, some areas there's some animosity and some areas there's uh, openness. I thought you were a real woman. Sheila Jeffries and the sex police are in the ladies. It has to go. It's gone. I'm over it. And sexist. And sexist. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You love shooting things, do you? I suppose so. I do it all the time. You like fixing things up, do you? Here. Put this up for any space. Her name's Miranda. My name's Lila. Murray. Murray may well be. I moved into a studio warehouse with a group of artists. 